Hi there, I'm Shannon Gregory of Microcell Sciences and we do live and layered blood cell microscopy. Today is a little bit of a different video. Instead of me always talking about live blood cell and what we're finding and so on and so forth, I want to do something different in which I'm testing grounding. So I'm using our live blood as a little bit of a science experiment to be able to see the before and after of grounding. There's been huge research showing that the electric conductive contact of the human body with the earthing creates many positive health effects and they call it grounding. It's been known to help inflammation, immune response, wound healing, chronic infections, autoimmune, and even cortisol, which is our stress response. So if you wanna know how it looks in live blood before and after, and with the grounding, let's see this go. So I'm gonna test myself. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm going to do before and afters. I'm gonna do it within a three day period. So I'm gonna be at work, my shoes off, because you need to have your shoes off and I'm going to be touching the grounding pad. So basically, here's my grounding pad that I'm gonna use. Bought this on Amazon, gotta love it, okay? I'm going to connect the cord attached to the grounding into a, um, a socket and then I will put my feet on this. Um, and if you can lay your body on it, some people put it in their beds and lay their body on it. Um, but in this case, I'm going to do exactly like the grounding is done, which is using our feet. Um, then, like I said, I'm going to look at the blood after and we're gonna see this in a three day period. The main focus on grounding by using the electronics for the earth is where they have huge antioxidant effects. So I really wanna see how does the liver function? Am I seeing less of free radicals or Burr cells? Um, what is the immune system doing before and after? Uh, so I do have quite a few questions in regards to the science behind this. So stay tuned. Here's my blood before. I'm going to get my sample all ready and we're going to pull it up. And obviously I don't need to wear gloves. I'm looking at myself. We always use disposable lancets. And we're gonna take a couple samples just to ensure. Now lately, I've been showing a lot more inflammation, so we're probably gonna see a little bit more inflammation. Okay, amazing. I'm bringing myself up on screen. All right, so the cell thickness looks pretty good. So overall, I'm quite happy with my thickness, but see how this is all just linked on top here? I don't want that linked like that, that's inflammatory. Here's the immune system. Now, in a perfect world, I prefer him stretching and moving, but overall, you know, the nuclei and whatnot in the actual immune system, I'm fairly happy with. So as I move around, again, we're seeing this a little too clumpy and we want this moving a lot more. So let's see how this changes once I do the grounding mat. So here I am, I still have my feet on this pad and I've been sitting here for 10, 15 minutes with this, my feet on the pad. So I am gonna test and just see what I look like after 10, 15 minutes, cause I'm kind of curious. Is it moving? Is it just still showing inflammatory? Like what are we gonna see here? So here we go. This is oil that we use and enables us to zoom in. So if anybody on YouTube is thinking I'm putting something on here, I'm not. It's called emergent oil. What do we got? No way. So this is pretty exciting to even see after 10, 15 minutes. And we're gonna keep testing this as the week goes on to ensure that this is what we're actually seeing. So you guys can see a massive difference. The cells are much more open. We're looking at what we call a fast moving highway instead of a highway with traffic. We're not seeing inflammatory as much. 
This is pretty exciting change for, you know, 10, 15 minutes on the, the pad of already grounding. Now, what's interesting with my feet, I was telling one of the staff members here, I feel like it's kind of like pulling, like I feel like little tingling. And I know when I use this pad at home and I lay in bed, I get this kind of like my skin tingling and pulling. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So let's see where this goes from here. Hi guys, this is day two of testing the ground mat. So I took a sample from one of the receptionists this time, and then she's gonna be standing on the mat for about an hour and we'll retest it again. So here's the initial sample that we've got for her and I'm gonna put it on the microscope now and let's see what it looks like. So this individual, we wanna see a lot more movement through the sample, of course. Uh, like we saw in the first one after we did use the grounding mat. The cells could be just a little thicker in this circumstance, okay? So I'd like to see it a little thicker. And what you're seeing, just little moving and popping over there, is a little bit of food digesting. Now let's move this around a little bit. And in this individual's case, is we should be seeing a little bit more immune response and more immune throughout the sample where we're not seeing any at this point. So that's something I'd be curious to see if it spikes the immune at all and maybe makes them more active, like some of the research that I read uh, indicates. This individual isn't looking like they have any parasites or anything like that. Uh, which is great as well because it's going to give us a good baseline at where things are at. So here's our starting point and let's see what happens in about two hours. So here's Crystal at front desk. Her little toesies on this grounding mat. Here we are back in the room and now we're going to find out, take a look at what Crystal's blood looks like after being on the mat. We use our disposable lancets. Again, excellent color when it comes to crystal. The color really matters with the blood because it depends on how they're absorbing in general. Done, good. All right, here we go. So we did see quite a bit of movement already with crystal, but what we wanna see is if it spiked her immune and maybe got her immune moving a little bit more. Um, the other thing we might be able to see is it might be even faster moving. I'm really not sure what to expect. So here we are, we're getting the blood on there, and here we are, we're going to zoom in. Okay, no doubt about it. Wow! Right? We got yeah. a really, really good image here of what the grounding mat can do. So what we're seeing is it really gets everything circulatory moving well. So let's move around. Now there is still slight amount of congestion. This is a little bit of protein and leaky gut that maybe she's not digesting as well as she should. Again, a little bit of stress there, but huge improvement in the circulatory side of things we're still not seeing tons of immune system, okay? So we're not seeing a huge amount of the immune system, which we wish to see. And we'll see if the next person tomorrow, if we're gonna see any changes in regards to that. So one thing we can kind of debunk a little bit is that it does maybe create more immune um, or bring the immune out from you know the spleen, the bone marrow, or literally in the blood. Um, so that's definitely something we're not seeing, but exceptional, exceptional changes in the circulatory, which in the interim would give people energy, would help with pain, inflammatory. So if you like this video, we'd love to see you at some of our other videos. Click that subscribe button and join Microsoft for all of our videos that we post.